everyone, welcome back for another Species Spotlight. I'm Miss Nicole here in the garden. I'm next to our lake terrace and our Cuban palms exhibit. And I'm standing next to and under our Species Spotlight this week, which is the Jamaica dogwood tree. And it is native here. It's native in Central America, Florida, and parts of the West Indies. This tree is considered tropical deciduous which means that it can grow in periods of heavy rain and periods of drought. So that's exactly what we have here in the Florida Keys. We have our wet season and our dry season. Our wet season being during hurricane time and our dry season, which we're going through right now. This tree likes to have well-drained soil with um, some limestone in it, which again is exactly what we have here. We've got that limestone rock all under us. And it also likes to grow in coastal hammocks which again is what we have here. This tree can grow up to 20, 40 feet tall. Um, it's a pretty big tree and it's a pretty slow grower. It also can have a tree trunk diameter of about three feet. So it can be pretty thick at the base of it. So it could be about this big. And its tree bark has some yellow and gray brown tints in it. So now let's take a closer look to examine the leaves, the flowers and the seeds of this tree. As we can see here, there's some leaves growing on a lower branch here. So the leaves of the Jamaica dogwood are dark green on the top with a paler green below, which gives them um, a distinction apart from other trees. They also have these beautiful white clusters of flowers, as we can see up here. The flowers grow in clusters and they're white with pink and red tints in them. And often when the tree is flowering, it can be leafless. It can have little to no leaves. And then over here, we can see the fruit of this tree. The fruit of this tree is actually legumes, which is in the pea family. So the seeds are inside of those and those are paper-like seed pods. So they have almost paper-like wings that can fly off in the wind and float down. And this tree is also the larval host for several different butterflies, including the hammock skipper, Caseus blue, and the fulvalis hair streak butterfly. What's interesting about the Jamaica dogwood tree is that inside of its bark and leaves, it has a substance called rhodonon, which is actually a toxic substance that can cause an allergic reaction resulting in rashes, sweating, tremors, numbness, and burning sensations. And actually the scientific name of this tree translates to poison little fish. So another name for this tree is also called fish poison. And they have used the poison inside of this tree to stun fish and catch them easily. Kind of similar to the sea poison tree that we had a few weeks ago as a species spotlight. So if you want to check that one out, go to our Google Classroom, our virtual living lab at keywest.garden slash education to learn more about that one as well. But this substance that's toxic can hurt humans on our skin, but it oddly enough doesn't seem to have much harm when taken orally. So the Jamaica dogwood tree actually has a lot of medicinal purposes and it has been used for nerves and pain conditions. And another interesting fact is that to toxic substance inside of this dogwood tree is also used to make in insecticides to kill things like fleas and larvae and other um, pests. So there's a lot of interesting things about this Jamaica dogwood tree, but just be careful if you're gonna be trimming one or cutting it down because you risk getting those rashes and other harmful allergic reactions. Thanks for joining me for this week's Species Spotlight. See you next time.